I'm not going to think about anything the rest of the show. So. <laughs> Sorry. I know. It's killing me. Oh, man. Is, is, is it like, do you remember speaking of Jonathan Brandis movies in Ladybugs uh, in his, ba- his si- still the sickest bedroom of all time on camera on cinema but when he's running down the stairs in the basement he has that that beaded kind of entryway is that considered mm-hmm. a door that's a door that's a door yeah sliding mm. doors beaded doors door i'm still going wheels I, i'm very it's confident a curtain. very confident in my wheels guess but i i it, it just bothers me to know it. <laughs> look up the definition of a door here you are <laughs> Oh yeah, boss! Oh hey! <laughs> oh yeah! Good morning, and welcome to episode eight ninety six of Hard Factor. It's Thursday, March 10th, 2022. Thank you for cheating on the news with us. We got Mark, Pat, Wes, and I'm Will to talk with you today about what, Wes? In the cup of coffee in the big time. Uh, we're going to be talking, of course, a little Ukraine. Uh, not the cream of the crop, though. We're not going not gonna, to not gonna end with that. We're going to be talking about a, a, a ship that's been discovered in Antarctica. Wow. Pretty big discovery. Um, a uh, hunter story. Yeah, oh, wow. a debate that's taking over uh, the Internet. We'll get into so you know some, some fun stuff, but nice, yeah. mm-hmm. nice. Mm-hmm. Uh, TikTok international moment is going to be third, and we're going to leave America, but we're not going too far, but we are going very far back in time. So, oh, think about wow, that. wow, my machine. <laughs> hey, I got another idiot that doesn't know when to call it quits, like Big Butt Page yeah, from yesterday, but a new ch- new person. <laughs> nice, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> butt lady was the best. She was. Can't wait yeah, to talk yeah, about another one. It, kudos Come on, to you for- <laughs> making something out of that story, Mark. Because like it was a great headline, but then it's like, okay, what do I? Get? Oh, I got creative with it. Could yeah, you put some me. oil on your butt? <laughs> <laughs> and you slide down. Yeah. Right. Hey, come out of the hatch, butt first. Mm-hmm. <laughs> How do I make yeah. this interesting? Yeah. Mm-hmm. What you we got, Pat? Oh, in the what are you talking about? In the cleanup spot? Ooh, the caboose. You talking about the caboose? Mm-hmm. Guy with a strong base has to have a big caboose. Mm-hmm. Uh, we're like Paige. Like Paige, baby. I, yeah, I water slides in me. Mm-mm, off limits. No. Uh, we, dude, we're talking about uh, the need for new organs. Uh, and a couple new organ stories oh, in the uh, the back of the show. So yeah. you're going to love it, I think. I, I'm excited. I almost needed some new teeth earlier today because I almost grinded them down to a pulp uh, in the parking lot of Costco. What do you guys think about uh, spot waiters, people who wait for your spot for like, you know, Ooh, you're you're packing up the back, you're uh, packing up the, like they, they wait for over a minute or, mm. or or they pull way too far in front of you. So they're obstructing everybody's flow. So obviously don't like them. Um, right. Yeah. Don't like but it. I'm not against the spot waiting for a spot yeah, how many cars there? behind you you willing to build up before you're like you know what uh go. maybe one one max oh, right yeah okay. that's a problem see yeah there, there was two spot waiters for me today that it, that each had like four to five car build up <laughs> um, oh, you're saying there was two people sitting there like a, like a queue for your yeah spot? like one guy finally somebody left uh because i was taking too long for him although he had been sitting there for over a minute and he and somebody else finally so left inconsiderate and then now if you're a front spot, though, if you've got a prime spot, I mean, I might, I might wait a little longer. Wes, it was like front third. It's not mm-hmm. it's not even we're talking like top of the first deck. If you're in a stadium, mm-hmm. I you know, yeah. I do. Sometimes I do feel pressured by the spot waiters to like hurry up and leave, which which bothers me. But uh, my favorite thing is when if you're parked in the in like face to face with someone and you both get in the car at the same time. And you're like waiting each other out to drive through the spot instead of back out. I will, I will pretend to read a book for those people. <laughs> I, well, right. I think like back out that. <laughs> no, it's it's if they want to, if they're if they're forced. I, if, I if wish we're both, I had if we're both on the same mindset. I kind of like, I kind of messed it up. I, I got so pressured that the second guy was also waiting, a spot waiting, yeah. that I like kind of like jittered on my way out, which sucks. finally got out of there. Yeah. But I mean, I was rattled. I can't, I can't handle it. Two yeah. spot waiters. Mm. I mean, come on. Let, just, just you need to bring a flow. You need to bring a book, a fake reading book, and put it in your center console, and then whip it out in those scenarios. And just, <laughs> sorry, 
lick your finger and turn the page. <laughs> it definitely yeah. slows you down. It, yeah. it, it affects your performance. There's no doubt about that. It's unreal. Yeah. It's, it's, it's unreal. And then the second guy pulls so far behind me, I'm like, oh, are you waiting for my spot? Because you're directly behind me. So, and you also have seven cars behind you. So, is this, how's this going to, how's this going to play out? It's going to play out with me making an awkward pull out of the spot. Yeah. Yeah. How'd it play out? That's exactly what I mean. Okay. I did, like, I did yeah. a little like, oh, oh, hesitate. Hold on. There, pedestrian, go. Didn't see it. Was being pressured by the dickhead with the blinker on for oh, over man. a minute. And then, yeah. And then that guy out. has no idea, too, how alpha you can become in situations like that that guy has no idea. he was <laughs> he was one honk away it's because will's from, driving from becoming oh, a parking lot beta it's Peter honked at me yeah oh i'd absolutely park and you're go. about to alpha right now from just thinking about that i, I would absolutely <laughs> park here's the problem the they're, they're gonna, they're <laughs> not gonna if, if they don't see will getting in the car they're gonna see the subaru and they're gonna think they can alpha right. will Right. Yeah, well, must be sure. a lesbian in there. I yeah, boss around. I would have bossed this lesbian around. Real that quick. is a big lesbian. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, she's butch. She's got a hell of a haircut. <laughs> Lesbian's mustache. She's not a her, is she? Huh? It's effective. <laughs> uh, all right, you guys ready to do the news? Sure. Let's do it. Yeah, cup of coffee in the big time. Cup of coffee in the big time. Trending news, fun facts, history. Uh, first, the fun fact. Popcorn, guys. I love it. I'm sure you guys do too. Uh, popcorn kernels, uh, they come from actual corn, but not the type you can eat. Only one variety of corn creates the kernels, which become the popcorn we all know and love. Zaya Maya Everta. And this is what it looks like on the, uh, on the, uh, the cob. Pretty crazy looking um pretty Whoa. yeah it's really cool right have you seen um, the videos of where they put it in the microwave this whole thing no yeah they, they have videos like i think it's a tiktok thing now or whatever i've seen videos recently where they put that that in the microwave and it literally comes out mm. with the pop like popcorn on the popcorn cob. on the cob oh that's cool that's yeah. cool yeah i like that there's also two different shapes of popcorn the butterfly and the mushroom uh, the butterfly wow. shape is the one that we all know and love movie theater popcorn. And then the mushroom is the one that you get with caramel uh, popcorn. So looks like a brain. The, right. looks like a brain. Mm -hmm. Is so. the mushroom any good raw dog just without the caramel? I feel like it's got too much of this, this shell still intact. Maybe. Uh, I don't know. Yeah. I, I, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a butterfly guy. <laughs> Kettle corn delicious today with <laughs> yeah. a uh, TikTok. I get, yeah, I get a lot of TikTok texts from Kate of like things not to do with the baby. She's yeah. just in like, she's in a ter terrible algorithm. Well, TikTok is not something to look at <laughs> if you're like wanting to have faith in society. Dude, you should see her algorithm. Should, it's hard. I mean, just get off of it. But <laughs> one of the things I'm not add to the list: don't feed a baby popcorn. Yeah, mm. dude, I almost choked to death in like yes, third grade. Yes, um, on a popcorn kernel, the the custodian had to pick me up by this literally by the seat of my pants his name was ben wiggins big black guy big and he, he he picked me up by the seat of my pants and and carried me from the lunchroom to the nurse because i was turning red in the in the cafeteria because i was choking up we popcorn. got another one <laughs> yeah. take care popcorn of this colonel <laughs> can't handle this popcorn <laughs> you always had a ben young sa esophagus yeah. yeah he saved my life um <laughs> all right let's get the holidays march 10th 2022 this time uh nice. it is the uh, is harry tubman day which is cool right. international bagpipe day love a good bagpipe international day of awareness no Mario. no 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 try that again international oh. day of awesomeness yeah yeah go. awesome okay mm -hmm. need to be more aware it sounds like you shouldn't be <laughs> celebrating <laughs> yeah. i mean no offense i think you're great but i mean it's yeah beef that landline telephone day mario day uh mario. national nice yeah mario um National uh, popcorn or popcorn lovers day, which is why I had the popcorn mm. salvation army day, world kidney day, which is fitting past. Can be talking about some organs later? National oh, wow. lunch day. Uh, not really great, but that's yeah, pretty good overall. Cool. It's pretty Mario. good. You got, you got Harry Tubman, you got Mario, you got popcorn. Mm -hmm. Awesomeness. Harry, Harry Tubman right. is great. Uh, great. Just because she's a badass. And then yeah, she's uh, awesome. Ma Mario day is great because you get uh, discounts on all Nintendo games. So Ooh. really? Mm. Come on, usually, guys. yeah, Mario. Because they never give discounts. They're like Disney. They're yeah. at the vault. Like pretty sure. Tough. 
Yeah, and they give them on Nintendo games, so it's yeah. always usually a pretty good day to buy games. Wow! Mm. If oh, it is, okay. if it's the same Mario day I'm thinking of. Yeah. If uh, any of my golf bets are in contention after round one, might be buying a few Nintendo games. There you go. There you go. Oh, can I buy the Switch yet, or what's? Yeah, my yeah, yeah. What is well, the new one the, out? I think they have the out. HD one out now. I mean, the, mm-hmm. the, the like the, the next light. next Switch is going to be like a, a while. I think. Yeah, yeah. I think um, it's a good time to buy it, Pat. Mm-hmm. It's a good time to buy. If I would say, wait for the next Oculus. Thirty six. It's right. a good time to buy it. Well, dude, the mm-hmm. Switch. You have a kid, so the like cat. He'll, <laughs> and I'm kidding. He'll, he'll want to play it. Eventually. Yeah, it's a great time to buy it. Thirty six. Oh, kidding. Yeah. Yeah, it's fun. Um, on this day in history, sorry to say, if your birthday is March tenth, you also um, share the day that Germany opened its first concentration camp in nineteen thirty three. Why'd you got to do that, man? Why you got yeah. to do that? <laughs> yeah. In, in Dachau, uh, where at least 32,000 people oh. will die. Oh, um, yeah. Dachau. 1969, uh, yeah. James Earl Ray pled guilty to murdering uh, Martin Luther King Jr. He was sentenced to 99 years in prison. But he didn't do it. Mm-hmm. The King okay. family thinks he didn't do it, or he didn't act alone. Oh, well, he was like he paid to alone. do it, right? Or he was, right. Yeah, he was, fram- yeah, he was, he was a, a patsy. Little... He was a patsy. They mm-hmm. think that was a CIA job? They don't know. Some guy named Raul... Uh, Paid him to do it. They can't find Raul though. Wow, Raul, oh, Raul. Interesting. Oh, Raul's Internet. dead. Yeah. yeah, Raul's. I'll tell you what. His name was. He was a fellow named Raul, white guy. Yeah. There's a, there's a guy named Loose End. Well, yeah, we'll find. Yeah, exactly. We're gonna find him. Yeah, red herring. <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> yeah. 1913, Toledo. William Knox became the first bowler to make a perfect score of 300 in an American Bowling Congress tournament. So big day for bowling. 1876, the first phone call was made between Alexander Graham Bell and his little errand boy, Thomas A. Watson, who was in the next room. He called Watson and said, Mr. Watson, come here. I want to see you, which is very homoerotic, if you ask me. Um, Why? Why got to be like that? I mean, listen to it. Mr. Watson, come here. I want to see you. That's extremely homoerotic. Maybe they're just buds. No, no. Let's, let's let's be real. Um, also, happy birthday to Sharon Stone. Thank you, God, for her and her work. And also Chuck Norris uh, was born on this day, who I actually wow. met. I met uh, during his movie premiere Sidekicks at, at Worldgate in Herndon. You fucking coming. met him at the wait. Why was he in Worldgate for Sidekicks? Because he was sick a, movie. Jonathan a Brandis. huge movie theater, dude. Yeah. Yeah. That makes no yeah, sense. Worldgate was yeah. the shit, man. Because <laughs> yeah. Batista used to work out there. Look at, look at <laughs> yeah. this. It's the Batista, third best movie theater. Batista oh. is on the cover of a magazine on my desk, and he used to work out. There. And PFT yeah. and I used to work there. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I don't think that's why Chuck Norris. You think Chuck Norris has better was, places to be. No, Worldgate is doing, like one of the yeah. nicest centers around oh, that area. That's like a $500. This was before Town Center. I'm pretty sure this is before Town Center opened up. It's literally 100 it's yards 90... from, from the MS-13's headquarters in Herndon, Virginia. Well, it's right by It wasn't Dallas. like it's that back then. It's not a great part of town, but it's we're a talking... great little... It's a diamond in the rough. We're talking 92 here, Pat. Prime yeah. of World Game. Why was oh, he at World Game? What was he World like? Did he call you pussy? Kicks, yeah, because sidekicks No, no, he was up. signing. He was signing, like, like posters and shit. No, I didn't, I didn't, like, I didn't like, have a conversation with him. I just, you know, saw him and, like, you know... Because, you know, he might have called you a pussy. He could have possible could call me a fat pussy too that's a, yeah um, yeah <laughs> big fitness guy he's like and Wes, he, come over here i want to see you and Wes is like gay yeah. stay away from that butterfly popcorn kid um uh, a mushroom <laughs> yeah. more fiber dad chuck norris wants to fuck me he said he wants to see me <laughs> yeah he wants to see me well he's a pretty tough guy i think you're just gonna have to let him yeah <laughs> It's like five three. Um, <laughs> trending mentions. Great news for Taco Bell lovers. They are officially bringing back their nacho fries. So, oh, uh, yeah. This marks the Nachos. eighth time. Nacho fries. Yeah. Uh, this is the eighth time that they'll be back since they first appeared in Why January twenty eighteen. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> um, you know, because it's like it's a, it's a they want the press of bringing them back. Yeah, they do. They love it. Eighth time. Um, they haven't been back. Since, they haven't been around since twenty twenty one, like March of twenty twenty, like. It's been a while, mm-hmm. so people are excited. COVID, oh, they, they, they draw such, they're such a draw. They can't be around during COVID. It would have been a super spreader but, event. Yeah. They don't like. They don't know how to cook fries at Taco Bell. Their 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 <laughs> their sauce is great. Their cheese is great, but the Could fries are always soggy. It's just an annual product, like the Shamrock Shake and the McRib. That's what it is, one hundred percent. 
Oh, yeah. it's but it's not annual. It's semi. It's like the Disney Vault. Like there's there's no well, run. Well, I said on the Disney last movie. one was March 2021. But it's eight times in the past three four years though. So like yeah. other than 2021, it was like three three times a year, three times a year. Like there's really no rhyme or reason. Someone just some big wigs like Fratro time. Yeah, he just feels like him. Yeah, I'm in the mood for. <laughs> This is why Taco him. Bell's last place. I mean, yeah. they got yeah, no it. no organization it's over not there. Last, it's in a league of its own. Oh, that and the, that and the yeah, Pepsi it products. Is. That and the Pepsi products is why they're in the last Pepsi's place. Pepsi's not doing them any favors. <laughs> no, they got Code no, Red, man. Certainly in a league of its own. <laughs> Taste of the <laughs> streets. <laughs> they're in a league of their own. <laughs> they really are. Um, so you know, you can get it today. Starting today, you can go treat yourself to some nacho fries. Thank if you. you. Want them. Um, also, another big question uh, took over the internet and trended. The old uh, wheels versus doors debate. You guys hear about this shit? Um, are there more wheels or more doors in the world? Whoa. Yeah. So the debate was started on, on Twitter on by. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. And what do you guys think before I, but before I trucks, give it a... But on trucks, there's like a billion wheels. Yeah, but on buildings, there's doors. zero wheels, Will, and they all have doors. And inside houses, mm -hmm. there's doors. And inside apartment mm -hmm. complexes, there's doors. But is it just doors. tire wheels or does it include no, all it's wheels, doors in the world? And it's wheels, yeah. Skateboards will count. For skate sure. Also, rollerblade wheels. Yeah, absolutely. Wheelchairs. So wheelchairs. would like dollhouse doors though too. Doors. Wagons. It's I'm doors. going wheels. Wheels. No one knows, okay. but wheels. No one knows. Well, the results came back, From and who? it was a, well the Twitter poll. Whoa. Um, over two hundred twenty-three thousand votes, and forty-six point four percent said doors. Fifty-three point six percent said wheels. And I took some of the best reasoning from the, the New York Post article. Um, and no, this but one that's guy not. Said, wait, no, no, no. They got to get a real answer. This is bullshit. This is just all about people guessing. This is not. You can't get a real answer for this. I don't think. Oh, oh, someone can get a real answer. Not? Well, maybe. Well, let Elon, me read you some. Of, this is gonna kill me now. Let's let him. Brain. Let's let him talk about it. Let's let <laughs> some of the here. Some of the justification, the reasoning that people thought. Uh, quote: Who's voting doors? There's wheels on everything. I have wheels on my garment rack, makeup storage holder, rubbish bin. It's definitely wheels. And then one guy says, easily doors. There's double the number of homes in the world than there are cars. Then there are other types of buildings too, shops, businesses. On top of that, most vehicles have many doors too. Um, and then this guy says, doors by far. Most things with wheels have at least a two to one door wheel ratio, which I don't understand. And then you have all the other doors in the world. Um, what kind of doors is that guy making up? I don't know. I don't yeah, know. he's two to making, one. He the guy's making up. up doors. He counts like the door. center, center consoles, Each a door. Windows a door. Right. The, yeah. yeah, the glove box yeah. is a door. That guy's right. obsessed yeah. with doors. At Eddie Entryway. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and then and then the the last commenter just says, "I'm going to scream into a fucking black hole like every other one of these commenters because it's uh, an unanswerable question." I have one to throw out there, Wes. I don't know if it's part of your thing, but what about? Hmm a screen door in front of a door that's two that's doors an door. that's it is door. absolutely a door I, that's this guy this drives me nuts because it can't be answered this oh yeah. this one will blow your mind though think of all the wheels in the elevators wheels in the drawers and desks every right. chair in the building has four wheels on it there would be a 100 to 1 ratio of wheels to doors in every building alone pulley yeah. wheels and, so the and wheels on yeah the that, chairs, that's so. a good question though like so some of those things are not necessarily wheels. They're round and hollowed out and the and the rope or like the thing in the middle uses them as a as an instrument. But I, I don't know if I consider all of those wheels. You'd have to have a definition. What about on each chair? So each chair has chair six has wheels. wheels. Yeah, those six are wheels. wheels six yeah, and the, twelve. Not in public Double schools. Wheel. But what about advent calendars, bro? Have you ever doors. Like, they're just printing advent doors. calendars? Yeah. There's That's one door. for every day That's in December. Door. Dog sure. doors. Mm -hmm. Dog, Dog doors. doors count. Cat doors okay. count. Yeah, okay. Doll houses. Yeah. It's tough. I, it's it's yeah. just tough. This is the tough. band. The doors, the, right. the doors. Remember that dress uh, thing where they're like, is it black and blue or is it orange or gold and white? Uh, mm. That was like, but the, that like one was answered. This is way cooler right. than that. No, yeah. this is this not is awesome. because the, the other one was answerable. It's like based on how your eyes are like naturally. But then oh, this one, yeah, there's dumb no or smart it kills me. Yeah, dumb mm -hmm. or smart. I no, bet you I bet your... you someone could get to the bottom of this. It's, yeah. it's some about your like your color seeing spectrum, and some people yeah. are just on certain sides of it. Oh, I'm not going to think about anything the rest of the show. So. <laughs> Sorry, I know it's killing uh, me. Oh man, is, is is it like? Do you remember speaking of Jonathan Brandis movies in Ladybugs? Uh, in his his still the sickest 
bedroom of all time on camera on cinema but when he's running down the stairs in the basement he has that that beaded kind of entryway is that considered mm -hmm. a door uh, that's a door that's a door yeah sliding mm. doors beaded doors store i'm still going know, wheels I, i'm very it's confident curtain. very confident in my wheels guess but i i it, it just bothers me to know it <laughs> look up the definition of a door here <laughs> yeah. i dude i mean all right look let's up move on i got i got some more <laughs> webster's <laughs> They got you guys too. What, about, what about paintings? <laughs> Door. No. Do, do uh, digital count? Okay. Paintings? I'm gonna um, move on to Ashley? Ukraine. Um, okay. Ukraine is not the cream of the crop. It's actually really the worst of the worst. What Russia did in uh, Mariupol um, is dominating updates from that shit show because they dropped a huge bomb on a children's and maternity hospital, killing an unknown amount of children, pregnant women um russian russians are basically genociding the people in this city um here here's a video that pretty much explains they talked to a colonel um it's a cnn thing it's a little bit long but it, it kind of gives you an idea of the, the tactics russia is using and some of the damage that they have caused well, i'm continuing to follow the breaking news that we're going to show you here these are the first images coming in of what Ukraine says was a Russian bombing of a maternity hospital and children's ward in the southern port city of Mariupol. Ukrainian President Zelensky says that there are children under the rubble. There are Come no on. known military targets anywhere near this hospital. We've got a lot to discuss here. Joining me right now is CNN military analyst Colonel Cedric Layton, also with us, Ann Applebaum. She's a writer for The Atlantic. Thank you both so much for being here. I want to go straight to a map. I want to show everyone, just to remind everyone, Colonel, right here you see where Mariupol is. It's a key port city in the southern part of the country. It's been under siege for days, Colonel. Why would a hospital be a target of an airstrike? What is the objective? Oh, it certainly should not be the object of an airstrike, Kate, because uh, that is an area that is absolutely prohibited, a category of target that is prohibited under international law. Uh, so it should be off the table completely. Now, the object of this, unfortunately, is terrorizing the civilian population. Uh, these kinds of attacks are typical, unfortunately, of what the Russians have been doing. And uh, this is another example, if proven, that uh, there is absolutely no a way in which the Russians are following standard targeting procedures in this war. Putin has now hit apartment buildings, hospitals, a maternity ward, a children's ward. What should that tell everyone about Russia's plan? So Putin's initial plan was to occupy Ukraine quickly, take over the government and declare that the country was now part of Russia. Um, that failed completely. He had no idea that the Ukrainians would resist the way that they have. Uh, what he's doing now is really a policy of terror. He's trying to terrorize the population. He's trying to make people leave. Um, he may be hoping to take over empty cities and then claim those or populate them with Russians. Um, what he's really doing is a form of ethnic cleansing. Uh, the idea is to get rid of the population, replace them, get them away, murder them if necessary Genocide, or scare them. Yes. Um, it's a policy that the Russians have used before. Uh, they used it in Chechnya. Um, and they used it in Syria, where they also were known to actively target hospitals. They would get the coordinates of the hospitals from the UN and then target them on purpose. So this is a longstanding Russian tactic. We recognize it and we should know know it for what it is. Fuck Russia. It's a, it's a tactic of, in a place where he wants to take over. Another thing that they didn't mention in that clip is that Mariupol, the city, um, mm -hmm. is uh, the birthplace of the Azov Battalion. Um, which is like one of them. It's the super anti-Russian uh, and what people consider neo-Nazi uh, faction of the Ukrainian army. Dude, they bombed um, the children's war. Stop. No, I know Stop. that. I, I I know that. But what I'm saying is that what I'm saying is that they didn't mention that in terms of this particular city. So they mentioned like Chechnya. He's done the same thing in Chechnya. He's, he's doing this in places where he does want to take over. This is between Crimea and the Donbass. Where he um, wants to genocide people. He's genociding them. Yes. Mm. I, I That's do have the to bring up. Yeah, he's, he he's, a, he's, he's a horrible dictator. And I'm, and if proven, like that guy said, it's a war crime. I'm not. What do you guys think I'm doing? I don't no, 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 I'm just saying there's no context needed for what who's there because there's well, I'm just giving more, the more facts. Yeah. It's not context. No, no, I, more I, facts, Mark. No, I appreciate it. Um, uh, it yeah, we, we, we did this in 2015. Not not a children's war, but we bombed the uh, the Kunduz trauma center. Uh, and uh, they, we said it was an oversight in Afghanistan, um, and then we ended up paying the 
de- I think there are 42 dead. We ended up paying each family member like six grand or so, which is in, nice. in itself. But yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't think it's apples to apples in terms of it being intentional or not. But some fucked up. We, 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 we did this too. War oh, crimes on, are horrible. What when committed by anybody, <laughs> who our governments committed them as well. Yes. Yes, absolutely. Dude, but, fuck you know Russia. What? Say it again. Right now, fuck, fuck Russia. Putin, fuck Russia. Um, um yeah, you know, it could also sure. be I mean, like I and I, end the war. No yeah. war. Stop Putin. I mean, what what are we doing to help, Wes? So um obviously we are trying to supply or we're, we're, uh, weapons to NATO. We sent missiles to uh to Poland. Um we're we're sending basically just heavily arming uh the NATO nations. Um we were gonna send some planes or Poland wanted to send us some planes that they would then send to we would then send to Ukraine, but that's not gonna happen. You do it. it. Yeah. Here you give this um, weapon to them. <laughs> um but you know we're trying to keep these corridors open, but again, yeah, so, Russia yeah, so Russia Poland, so Ukraine requested MiGs because that's mm-hmm. what their pilots are familiar with flying. Right. Poland has a bunch of extra MiGs. Mm-hmm. They surprise announced that they would send them to our Air Force base in Germany and we being surprised by the announcement uh declined it. But the weird part is is VP Kamala Harris is meeting with the Polish government today so it's going to be awkward as fuck if we still haven't accepted the migs um to give to ukraine because mm-hmm. like you know ukraine asked for them and basically we're we're standing in the way right the they delivery. asked for a no um, flies on it first and then they said if you're not gonna do that then give us planes right right and yeah. so we're standing in the way of the delivery um basically and kamala is meeting with poland today and poland's trying to use us as the vehicle to get them into ukraine right um are we yeah. standing down because we don't want to trigger the, the Pentagon to, just initially right. said no, but maybe they're like lukewarm on it now. Last I saw, but I don't know. It's, Everyone's it's, standing it an awkward for visit. Putin's fucking crazy. Ass. Right. It, it seems like everyone's seems like Putin, everyone's scared of this. Dude. It seems like people are just bowing down. Everyone's to terrified of this, dude, globally. except for Ukraine, except for Ukrainians globally, though. Yes. Globally, though, yeah. people are just terrified. Everyone besides and, Ukrainians yeah. who are getting destroyed and genocided are terrified of this. Piece I mean, hopefully there's something going yeah. on behind the scenes where they're planning to take this guy out. But right now they know he's got nukes. They know he's a psycho. They know he's uh, lost his mind. So they don't want to they don't want to fucking test him, basically. Yeah, it seems like I mean, the House can't agree on a sanction bill. My thoughts are maybe we've done enough with the fucking sanctions and all that. Start doing actions. Why don't we just yeah. drill and frack with Canada and Israel? And since the Saudis and the UAE won't even fucking talk to us, literally yeah. turn down a meeting with us. You so know we used to own Saudi Aramco. I mean, that, that was our company. It was part of the deal. Well, now they won't fucking talk to us, Pat. So uh, so maybe we just drill our own fucking energy and stop fucking with this Antifa League all over the goddamn place. And like, I mean, it's just ridiculous. Like, do something about it. it everybody, everybody is scared of this guy. They don't want to start a war with him. So they don't want to ha- get into an actual military conflict conflict in Ukraine with him. But, you know, outside of that, get creative, figure it the fuck out, because like like you saw the 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 you know hospitals are being bombed. So, yeah. Um, one more thing before I move on to the cream of the crop. They also think that they are planning on using um, uh, biological weapons because there's a um, uh, Russia warned that uh, Ukraine was going to make it look like they used biological weapons, kind of a false flag. But they're. U.S. intelligence basically saying, oh, they're just saying that because they really want to do it. So, you know, more atrocities coming. Uh, I don't know what to fucking say. Let's move on. It's terrible. Um, it's absolutely <laughs> terrible. It's like it, I think Mark called it at the very beginning where he was like, it's horrible because we're just going to watch the, the slow, yeah. you know, torture of the Ukrainian people. Yeah, it's and that's exactly what you're witnessing, because nobody is willing to step in nato certainly isn't going to step in to cause world war three uh and nobody who's non-nato in the area is either all, all, all they're doing is being scared more scared towards running towards nato in the future but nobody's really going to engage him in a war and so and now he has china's backing he has almost all of asia all of africa backing him so you know oh well, fuck them too um not korea anyway. Well, I mean, almost all of non-coastal, almost all all of Central Asia, all of Central Africa, all stand behind Putin. All right. Well, let's move on to something a little. China. Let's move on to something a little cooler. Uh, It's called (laughs) the cream of the crop. Ernest Shackleton was trending. You guys know Ernest Shackleton? Mm -mm. Mm-mm. Yeah. Learn. Cool last name. Yeah. Well, apparently this nut, uh, Shackleton. He left England aboard the Endurance, which is a, a wooden ship 
three mast wooden ship with a crew of 27 people in 1914. They were headed to Weddell Sea to be the first team to cross Antarctica. There are some <coughs> very uh, ambitious explorers, and this was uh, this was actually you know before uh, Gore Tex. Yeah, yeah, this is way, way before. That's Gore gonna be so. a strike on YouTube. Yeah, he just created an edit there, <laughs> but it was important. I got so, so we got so many messages. What were you guys all laughing at when you came back uh, talking about? It was in relation to it was the scene of Kramer oh, the, the Ukraine, on the bus yeah. with the uh, Ukraine yeah. thing. Yeah, that was okay. a great scene. Yeah, but but also Seinfeld strike. Yeah, well, especially I think they're especially vicious to Canadians. They don't let them watch it if we have it on there. But, um, <laughs> uh, but, but that was an important. You want to keep Seinfeld out of yeah. Canada? Gore Tex. It was so mind blowing back in the '90s or whenever it came out. Uh, I mean, yeah. it was just incredible. People yeah. could not believe it. It's great stuff. Anyway, this was uh this th this time this was close to what the uh, New York Times says was the end of the heroic age of Antarctic exploration, um and these guys were the last one to do it because they they really fucked up. So um they got to Weddell Sea, which is like a hundred miles from where they were trying to land to explore Antarctica, and then um they have this big drift ice. It's created by the currents down there, and their ship got stuck, and uh fucked them. Uh, they ended up drifting for ten months in the uh in the sea with this ice there's there's Ernest oh, right there Quite, is that a real picture that that's a real picture yeah what? um that's the ship too and um so they got they got stuck in the ice and eventually once the ice melted after 10 months they camped on the ice so the ship sank and then they camped for another five months on this yeah. fucking ice in Antarctica and um, wait a minute how many ships were there were there multiple there ships? was one one ship well, how'd they get that picture that's got to be a painting right what on the left yeah no, no, that's the real one. Let me show you. How do you get a picture of there of must have been like a there must have been uh like a historian there with them who had yeah. like a they got on like a little camera. boat. Yeah, yeah. We, no, no. They they, they 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 left the ship, Mark, they and, the they, ship. Okay. They, and they camped on the ice. So Holy they shit. Yeah, after ten months of just drifting with the fucking ice, um, they then left the ship, camped on it, wow. and then Ernest led them on a trek um to uh South Georgia Island, um, which is like 720 not 830 miles away and where they were finally saved but the Damn. reason it's, the reason it's in, trending in is because like littler boats or something or what yeah how did they do yeah that? i don't know uh, yeah it was little littler boats yeah. i think um Damn. yeah Whew. anyway there it's um it's trending because they found this ship um and here's the first images it's, it has no sound so i'll just play it but they these these uh this anonymous donor Whoa. paid 10 million bucks for these guys out of south africa to go find this thing they searched this 150 miles uh square mile uh, plot in the ocean after two weeks um, and days, you know, of searching for this six hours. Awesome. With, yeah, they found this thing at the bottom of the sea. And it's, it's really preserved because of the cold waters. Um, didn't really do too much damage to the boat, so it's pretty much intact. But you can kind of see what the it looks like. Fucked up by the glacier. Yeah, the boat was the boat was I'm fucked up by the ice. Expecting a shark to pop up as a scare tactic, knowing why. No, no, it's, it's not. It's, right. I promise you, right. it won't. Um, but uh, under the terms of the Antarctic Treaty um this thing can't be pulled up um right. it's considered a historical monument now so they didn't touch it they're just scanning it but i you know this guy paid 10 million bucks to go find this thing i something tells me that maybe pull he's the gonna... fucker up yeah pull it That's up cool make, you can make a i mean how much a door you could like out of that wood would cost no wheels yeah. on that plate on that yeah. ship. that's for sure nope. no they no, had lots of pulleys pack oh except for the um the steering wheel yeah, the steering the wheel, pulleys. but all the boats have multiple the... doors. Probably got cruise ships. How many fucking boats are doors on a cruise ship? Yeah, how many Lots. cabins you got? You know? Yeah. Oh yeah, good good call. I'm going with doors now. Um, <laughs> no <laughs> way. <laughs> doors definitely wheels. <laughs> I mean, but, but why do you leave that shit? That's so stupid. That's so. It's I mean, Antarctica, Pat. It's a. It's the nobody's allowed. People think that's yeah. why. That that's why conspiracy theorists think that the aliens are in Antarctica because right. you're, nobody's allowed to do anything there. Nobody's allowed right. to take anything there. You have to get everything. It's the aliens now. The scientists have to you have to like get on every single yeah. continent. Science guys have to sign off. If on you think you paperwork's there, bad here, imagine right. alien paperwork. It takes Antarctic paperwork. forever. <laughs> yeah, Try to get crazy. a pen to work up there. <laughs> yeah. you know? mm -hmm. yeah. A lot of paperwork. Oh, uh, this pen froze. You got another. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so pretty cool. Uh, it was one of like the, the most famous, like undiscovered ships that it's people were cool. trying to find until now. And that's a cup of coffee, which was brought to you by. Something that all those uh, sailors probably could have used on that ice, you know, for what, 15 months. 
guess what that is? It's caliper. Yeah. Um, when they had yeah, to row yeah. 700 miles to mm-hmm. a- I'm freaking oh, out yeah. here, man. <laughs> yeah. No way I would have survived. Uh, long time spent the show. Something we get lots of DMs about um, just how awesome it is. And Ooh. it is awesome. It's dissolvable CBD powder, which is more effective than CBD oils. Tastes a lot better. You get all the benefits of CBD in exactly 20 milligram packets like Will's showing you without the weird aftertaste. You put it in any liquid water. I used to put it in my tea. Um, just mix it up and then you're done right, right into the body mm. clinically proven to deliver 30 times more CBD than in the first 30 minutes than CBD oil. So when you are feeling like you need some pop it in and you're good to go developed by food scientists, regularly tested for purity and quality, all natural, vegan, non GMO free of fillers, chemicals, all that bullshit. Get 20% off your first order. when You use promo code factor at try caliper. C A L I P E R dot com slash factor risk free for 30 days. If you don't love it, they'll give you a full refund. That's tricaliper.com slash factor. Don't forget promo code factor for 20% off your first order. Try it out. We think you're going to like it. Porta potties, doors, public restrooms, doors. Uh, guys, uh, it's hard to imagine, but spring is almost here. We're so close to feeling the soft grass under our feet. But first, we need to get our lawns back. Now, don't we? I know my lawn. Is about to be looking good, but right now it's brown. I need some help. Um, thankfully, mm-hmm. Sunday gets your lawn growing and helps to keep it healthy all season long. Worried about all the chemicals you're using to keep your yard looking uh, its best? Well, hang on. Oh, I got well, thrown off here. Don't if you're going to use Sunday. <laughs> uh, what'd you do? I tasted my back. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. The Seinfeld clip and then this. <laughs> Why would you do that to me? What? Worried about all the chemicals you're using to keep your yard looking its best? Traditional lawn care lays down 90 million pounds of pesticides each year. Sunday is different, though. Now you don't have to choose between uh, having a beautiful yard and keeping your family out of harm's way. Uh, so mm-hmm. Sunday can help you grow a, a beautiful lawn without the guesswork or the nasty chemicals, which is two, two good things. Their custom plans include fertilizer and everything you need to easily care for your lawn. And with ingredients like seaweed, iron, molasses, you can feel good about it. It, you know, with the kids in the backyard rolling around with the dogs playing fetch, they're going to be fine. All you have to I do is visit. Wait. I know it's effing awesome. Uh, all you have to do is visit GetSunday.com, put in your address, and their lawn analysis tool does the rest. They uh, then use soil and climate data to create a personal nutrient plan delivered to your door when you need it. Just attach the ready-to-use pouch to a garden hose and get to spray it. Uh, it takes less than 15 minutes. That's pretty, and also probably pretty satisfying just spraying your yard you know it's gonna look good soon uh best of all this stuff really works and sunday is offering our listeners 20 percent off full season plans start at just 129 and you can get 20 percent that uh, off that at checkout when you go uh visit get sunday.com slash factor 20 that's 20 percent off mm. your custom plan at get sunday.com slash factor 20 I'm doing it. I already, I already signed up. I'm gonna, I'm gonna send out pictures of how my Sunday lawn experience goes. It's, I, I cannot wait. I have, I have kids and oh, dogs. Yeah. I'm very concerned, and I need you got both help. the, yeah, and yeah. I have a shitty yard. Yes, yeah, so I, I yeah. they need they everything. Perfect Sunday's really helping Sunday. me out. Yeah. yeah. All right, guys, I've got another story for you today about a person that did not know when to quit, even though they were told to literally quit and had all the information they needed to make the correct decision to quit. Uh, Yesterday, it was big bottomed in a good way page on a Norwegian cruise slide. And today it's this idiot here. Hmm. Philip um, wasn't prepared for that either. Philip uh, Vasto. Did I put it in the wrong? Did I put it in the clean? Old Phil. Classic Phil. There Uh, he is. Phil in the mountains. There he there is. He is. Hey, look yeah. at him. He's he's a young guy. He's only twenty eight years old. What, did he take a photographer on a mountain hike with him? What picture is that? Yeah, you're gonna like, hear about what he did. Who is yeah, this I mean, guy? Look, he looks like he's in good shape though, right? He's twenty eight. He's young. Yeah, but anybody who has a picture like this of themselves um, looks kind of gray to me. Does that look like know... hiking outfit? Though? Okay, mm, so that's like a guy. green screen. Okay, so yeah. Right. Well, that's a, I mean, no, you know, I mean, that's the outfit he likes I mean, to go hiking in. Part of it's a hiking outfit, the center, right? Because it's a vest. It's a right. That's a photo arms, shoot, though. It's a photo shoot. The arms it's and the pants. Those look like thin sweatpants. Anyways, um, yeah. So he, he, the problem is he's relatively new 
uh, to, to like hiking. He only completed his first serious hike two years ago at the Grand Canyon, even though he's young and in good shape. Uh, this past week, he attempted another serious hike on Humphreys Trail in the San Francisco Peaks just north of Flagstaff, Arizona. I know that's confusing. It's the San Francisco Peaks, but they are, in fact, in Arizona. Here's a okay. view of the mountains, and here's a view of the hike he attempted to do. Uh, it's a it's a 5.5 mile hike, which starts a little over 10,000 feet elevation and then ends a little over 13,000 feet above sea level. So it's like a 3,000 uh, increase in incline over five and a half miles. Pretty pretty intense. It's well, over this when it's snowy and stuff, it's, that's a, that's a that's a big hike intense. for for the it's unexperienced. Intense. That would be yeah. very challenging. We wouldn't be able to do it. Uh, Philip no, attempted you'd have to this, be in good shape. Yeah, Philip attempted this hike on March 2nd. But he had to call nine one one around seven p.m. Somebody call nine one one Philip uh, around seven p.m. to tell them he was lost and cold. Oh, um, yeah. yeah, and yeah. Whoops, uh, I'm cold. I didn't do the hike right. I'm way off course. When rescuers and tracked vehicles from the resort got to Philip and brought him back to safety, they noticed a few things. One. He told them he started the hike at like 3 p.m., so pretty late in the day, and they were like, hmm, that's way too Smart late. Smart planning. To, yeah, why would you do that? It's already it's winter time. dark. When, it's already when, what was the day he did like this? Four. March 2nd. Yeah. Yeah, what oh, are you doing? yeah. I'm looking up the sunset right now. <laughs> what the hell are you doing, they said. It's like five, uh, then, five o'clock sunset. It's and then they late. also they also noticed he didn't have any of the proper equipment for a snowy hike. Reference this picture again. That's literally from the hike? It's based on the story. I'm assuming it's similar to what he was hiking in. He's, I mean, like, like this an, guy... Yeah, old Navy performance fleece. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yep. He's like uh, doing so, North Face. He's like he like wants to go yep. to these places to make himself look like a North Face model. Right. Looks like he's at a farmer's market. He's a huge Instagram guy. Exactly. He's, he puts the, all of his stuff on Instagram. Uh, after talking okay. with him for a matter of minutes, the rescuers, uh, they realized he was a complete idiot. And they told him uh, everything he did wrong, like the outfit, the time of day he started, uh, the fact that he's not a good hiker. Um, an experienced hiker. They're like, these are all bad things. And then they said, how about you do this, Philip? Uh, try it again in like three to four months when there's when it's like it's light to like 8 p.m. The snow is a little bit more melted. It's it's a little bit easier of a hike. You shouldn't be doing this in March or April. Let's try it again in May or June. And he's like, okay, okay. So Philip listened to everything they said, but the only thing he took away from what the rescuers said was that he started his hike too late in the day. So what did he do the very next morning? He said, fuck it. Uh, I'll start it in the morning and then I'll have all the time I need. Uh, so he, he said, quote, I was thinking if I start early in the morning, I'll have all the time in the world to reach the summit. The, the first attempt ended prematurely because I started late. The problem was darkness. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. He got lost. You know, uh, yeah, so no guess, guess what happened the second time around? Mm, so you got some thing. sick Instagram pics. Were yeah. they like, uh, hey, dude, not this, not today. We're a little tired. Well, he went on the hike at 9 a.m., but uh, 10 hours later, or eight hours later at 5 p.m., he called 911 again <laughs> to tell them that he needed to be picked up. Yeah, I mean, you knew. Yeah, and they're like, is it is it fucking Martin again? Is this Philip? Phil is it yeah. Philip? <laughs> yes. Is it Philip who looks like Martin? Oh, yeah. man. Is this that Philip guy? Philip again? You got to bill Philip. Tell me we're billing Philip for these. Yeah. Uh, Phil, yeah. Uh, he said he was a few hundred away from, from the peak elevation, probably like almost there, probably like a mile away, a few hundred feet. Oh, yeah. He's, uh, he was so fucking close. He was he close. He was almost right? there. Philip yeah. would later write on Instagram, quote, with brutal chilling winds blowing at more than 25 miles per hour and freezing temperatures, Humphrey's Peak is no joke in March. I highly advise not attempting Humphrey's Peak in the winter. You can easily <laughs> injure yourself and get hypothermia up there, which is exactly what the rescuer said to him the day before. Um, yeah. So he may have learned his lesson the second time. He had yeah. to learn it extra, Mark. He couldn't he couldn't trust him. Yeah, yeah, he heard all yeah. oh, earlier in the day. Uh, yeah. Philip Wyatt he learned it for hiker. sure. Yeah. yeah, he learned it for sure this time. Philip Wyatt, another hiker, and another Philip who stopped to help Philip Vasto on his second failed attempt said it was quote very apparent that he wasn't prepared for the climate that and, and what he had gotten himself into. So again, I reference the outfit he's wearing in this picture. Mm -hmm. This moron had mm -hmm. no gloves. He had no winter outfits. He had no like those spike things you put in the ground. He had those no ace sweatpants. <laughs> yeah, it looks like they might. Be. It's yeah. a uh, high of fourteen tomorrow at Humphreys Peak. <laughs> yeah, he's in a windbreaker 
uh, trying to climb up the fucking snowy Wendy Mountain. Uh, the good the good Philip also had to add rescuers his number because the bad Philip's batteries were dying dying from his using his phone all day to make sure he wasn't getting lost on his second attempt. So he had the route pull, pulled up on the GPS, but his battery was down to three percent when he called nine one one. And Philip doesn't bring a backpack or a Mophie. No, he didn't have an extra battery. That? Because he doesn't understand hiking. Um, he was like that idiot my wife and I saw leaving the Rolling Stones concert, waiting with 5,000 other people for an Uber that wasn't coming, with pure shock in his face, asking complete strangers like me, what the hell was he supposed to do on getting a ride home since his phone was dead from recording every single Rolling Stones song in its entirety? Oh, <laughs> he was in his 40s, by the way. I'll answer that himself. idiot's question, because I've been there. You walk the two-lane yeah. road until you get to the next road, and there's an Arby's. It's about a mile and a half away, and you charge your phone there, fucking idiot. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think <laughs> exactly. Mistake. Yep. So uh, authorities, by the way, have encouraged Philip Vasto to not attempt the hike again. Just they didn't even tell him a few months from now. They just said, please don't come back. Please don't come back again. Yeah, he's he, yeah. dude. He's not allowed in Flagstaff again. That, that no. What a dick. Yeah. They had to like so many people had to ruin their day two days in a row for that guy. Yep. Sorry, honey. I can't make dinner again. Phillips on the mountain. Philip decided <laughs> to do the hike. We all told Is him this the same do. guy from yesterday. Yeah, there's probably like a like a automated car crash. They could have attended to in Flagstaff, but anything besides yeah. Philip. Mm-hmm. Thanks for wasting everybody's time, Philip. All right, you guys know what time it is. It's time for the TikTok International Moment. That's right, it is. Thank you, Darcel. Uh, in today's TikTok International Moment, uh, we're leaving America, but not going too far, like I said at the top, but also going back in time. And that, and why is that? Because the first stop is Greenland, uh, the world's biggest island. And the 12th largest country overall, that's over 2 million square kilometers. Wow. Mm. Uh, yeah, that's, that's surprising. It's the biggest yeah, island. Biggest I, I island? Guess that. That's, that's a fun fact. That's fun fact worthy information. Yes. So I guess they don't Greenland. count Australia. Uh, no, Greenland must be, must be, uh, Australia must not be an island because technically of, so, yeah. I don't know, it's got some kind of border or something. I don't mm. know. Mm. Who knows? Because it's a continent, maybe. I have no yeah. idea. Um, but. They claim it's the world's biggest island and 12. It is the 12th largest country overall for for wow. a fact. I got that. I'll check wow. out this little. Uh, there's the list. OK, Russia's number one by there's, a lot, by the way. Look how big Russia is, but they Russia's need more. Massive. Right. You know? Yeah, but they should keep expanding. Uh huh. For sure. Um, yeah. Uh, so, yeah. But you see you see Greenland there very firmly at number 12, uh, technically part of North America, but also uh, the only part of North America that was for, formally included in the Danish Viking kingdoms. Dating as far back as 5,000 years ago. Uh, Greenland's home of Eric the Red, and Leif Erikson, uh, wow. Valhalla on Netflix, if you want to learn more about that. Wow. Um, and today's story takes us back even further in time than the Vikings on Greenland, back 58 million years ago when a massive asteroid struck at the site of Hiawatha. This is where it's at. Okay. Up at like the top northwestern tip of greenland okay um this is so long ago that it was only eight million years after the big bang which was 66 million years ago in mexico that killed all the dinosaurs um and greenland at the time was a temperate rainforest island so like a gigantic new zealand oh like, wow a new zealand that was the size of like Kazakhstan. yeah it's pretty cool um uh yeah but not for long it was cool but not for long because researchers from the university of copenhagen and the swedish museum of natural history recently discovered that's about the time 58 million years ago when it was a nice uh rainforest uh that a massive uh 20 mile wide crater uh that's now under greenland's super thick ice sheet there's the crater if the ice was removed uh was Mm. created uh with the force of an esti- estimated to be several million times stronger than that of an atomic bomb. So <clears> this <throat> asteroid came down and created a 20 mile wide hole in, in the corner of Greenland. I mean, um, can, can we really buy that stat? Yeah. Let's just think about this. We, you know, the, the Hiroshima and Nagasaki got wiped off the earth. Now you're talking about exponential growth in the millions. I feel like that's 
as they'd say, a planet killer. I don't know. Maybe, maybe they should well, check their math what on it that. Was, right? Clearly it was, big. It, it was almost a planet we, killer. We're right? still here. Maybe almost, but but scientists are still unclear if this was a world ender. The Mexican impact site of Chichi Club. I don't know if that's how you say it, but I, I like the, how, the way it sounds. I'm going to say it. Chichi Club uh, is about 90 miles wide, 6.5 times bigger, 150 okay. kilometers wide. So maybe wide. not a world ender, but a definitely like a regional a hemisphere right. fucker right mess right up your week. <laughs> yeah. it, this, this had to have like at yeah. least fucked up like all of like that area of north yeah. america and europe right because like well it changed the whole like topography and like uh environment right right yeah. like maybe oh, yeah. that's why greenland got like smacked off the edge right here look there at it that goes pangea or whatever the mm -hmm. hell yeah, right. it used right? to be yeah. like maybe part of canada and it's just yeah. like poop see ya you're in the it ocean maybe i don't know but it hit crazy. the equivalent of um greenland's alaska if the tip of greenland is greenland's florida it was greenland's alaska just a little yeah. context for the listeners Good point. right yeah very very top uh you, you northwestern know, corner you're 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 only eight million years from the dinosaurs you're whatever's ruling the earth right then is probably like this is pretty sweet and then boom wiped off yeah yeah, it's, I mean, it's awesome. Also, I didn't realize that that was what you were seeing when you flew over the Yucatan in Mexico. Um, That's it nuts. is so cool looking when you fly over uh, over the um, the big the, where the Big Bang was. It's it's a it's you can well, not tell the Big Bang, but the Big Impact. Yeah, yeah the Big Bang. Yeah, no, the Big it's Bang the, is the Big is Bang is the galaxy formation. Oh, of our universe. Yeah, and uh, also whatever. a terrible show that if you uh, it's a great gauge of whether someone's funny or interesting though whether they like that show or not wait the big bang is oh that's Damn. the start of the that's You're the gonna get some hate for that that's the alleged start of the yeah. universe yes mm -hmm. not for me according I'm to get hate from me. big bang it, it went over their head trust me big whatever bang. i said <laughs> <laughs> You're get some hate for i always bang associate things. the big bang with the killing dinosaurs i think no. it's the origin origin of the what's I the know. name for the dinosaur extinction the uh the shit that fucked up the earth in the yucatan just the meteor or whatever no. yeah. yeah yeah really yes. mm -hmm. there's yeah, no positive. word for that it's no, uh, the, big the big is, bang is the formation universe. of the universe. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I, I like to think of it as the biggest asteroid. Well, cre well Will, <laughs> hey, on Earth. we can both be right. It's a big bang. It created, yeah, it created a large bang. Yeah. Talk, speaking of big bangs, it was William, uh, William Hung level bang. Yeah. I she mean, bang. she bang. Big bang. Whoops. Sorry, sorry, everybody who, who's going to be upset about that. Uh, <laughs> Some scientists just <laughs> going, oh my God. <laughs> Uh, okay, uh, moving along to the United Kingdom, a little bit further away from America. Uh, Charles sent us this viral video. Uh, this time he sent us one of a monkey killing a seagull uh, that it, and, and then eating it um, at the Chester Big, Zoo. Huge news in yeah. Cheshire, England. Well, it's a huge news on TikTok. it out of the air. And just <laughs> incredible. Like huge news apple. on TikTok. They've tried to scrub the video from TikTok. It had gotten like two million views. Uh, and the woman who posted it, uh, 32 year old Beck Adamson, she gave this photo specifically to the news outlet there. she, she yeah. sold the video to. Yeah, big cleavage shot. Uh, what would you say is her name? Is Beck's Bust? What? Bust Adamson. <laughs> Beck Adamson. B E C. <laughs> Tits, madam. <laughs> Beck Adamson. B E C Adamson. Uh, and then uh, she she gave this photo specifically to the Kennedy News and Media um, people. She sold her viral TikTok video to. Uh, so it's been since taken down, tick, taken off TikTok. Um, and but I've got it to show you guys. I can show you it in silent. Um, but I'm gonna just read Let's you her it. quote. Uh, one second, I'll, I'll read you her quote. Uh, what she said leading up, you know, sort of describe setting the scene. This is what Beck said. She said, "We just been sitting there to see the rhinos when we was walking across." And then I saw these seagulls circling, and then this monkey caught caught one of it as it was flying past. I told Jamie, the ex, and Dominic, uh, <laughs> too, so I started filming. When I zoomed in, I could see he was battering the fuck out of this seagull. I couldn't believe it. I was catching it on video. Uh, and what she saw... This was monkey was showing off her backs. A Chapuchin yeah. monkey, uh, oh, an Ace Ventura oh, monkey, doing this to a seagull fellas <laughs> oh my oh. god he's slamming it into the like it's a dirty hole. rug yeah. oh my god he's breaking he's oh, he just ripped it. its head off he's just yeah. eating it piece by piece oh my god i mean that's <laughs> gruesome except for it's a seagull so right yeah. I, I actually think it's awesome uh, i'm, it's I'm gonna add she doesn't know how to spell seagull no 
Oh, no, no, no. Is that right? I, again, again, this has been, I had to get it from people who ripped it from hers. There's so two L's and Siegel. Here's yeah, the yeah. long version, guys, uh, oh, of the God. whole thing. Jeez. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, so I, like she had, she had, it had been scrubbed by the people she had sold it to. Um, so she said, she, she continued, it was like watching the real King Cole. <laughs> That's what Beck said. So what do you guys think about her analysis there? Uh, it's no, I yeah. mean, it's just a monkey killing it. I mean, the, if King Kong was in uh, a tiny, 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 tiny monkey, yeah, but look I at just, that. That's so creepy looking like the, cool, the silhouette. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it's very the, cool. I'm just but glad we're getting one back Kong's, on the seagulls. If King Kong was fighting, like, I don't know, like a pterodactyl, maybe. Right. Yeah. King Kong versus pterodactyls. Yeah. Right. But, Will, I guarantee you that Beck Adamson's TikTok is about to be full of yeah. tits. Like, they were like, oh, for Bex, sure. Now you, we, we've gone viral with this monkey killing video. Now it's time to, you know, you think, ja you think Jamie's, you think Jamie the yeah. X is pushing oh, her to show some uh, more tits? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Jamie yeah, and Dominic are all over. <laughs> Jamie Fellas. and Dominic are suggesting she show some <laughs> yeah. more cleavage. Fellas, luckily, her son Dominic <laughs> wasn't phased by the gore. Oh, her son, okay. That he, well, that he witnessed. Her son, son is five, Dominic. He was, he, was not phased, he was not phased by the gore uh, that he witnessed at the zoo that day. But one of my favorite aspects is Wes is getting to uh, from the story, besides the amazing video and the specific cleavage shot that she gave uh, to the news station is that her insistence when she sold the story on calling 35 year old Jamie, her former partner everywhere. Mm -hmm. That's so here's, here's the, from the New York post, Jamie. Beck Adamson, 32 with then partner, Jamie Stockall, 35 and her son, Dominic, uh, five. He's not Chester's getting this a scent of this new titty money. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's just a baby dad. <laughs> so she really Poor like Jamie. made a point to like point out to everybody like, hey, She's I am single. Look at these tits. Yeah. Also, check out my video skills. I mean, nice. Bex makes Megan McCain look like a 10 year old boy. <laughs> <laughs> Good for her. Yeah, because the tits. I don't know how she was able to record the video over. She holds, she puts the phone like in the tits and then she found her opening it was a monkey killing a seagull video now she's just letting them loose <laughs> he's a yeah. big shock <laughs> good for beck it's it's big for beck and, and her bust for, um, what was her what was her <laughs> probably bad for jamie yeah. but good for everybody else bad for jamie yeah yeah i think she, the, she put this in her bio this is cool <laughs> yeah. not dating jamie <laughs> <laughs> jamie used to have this but he doesn't anymore <laughs> I mean, I'm serious. It was covered in like so many British yeah. and European outlets and every like all, a bunch of American and Australian outlets. Every single one. Very specific. Former partner. Mm -hmm. Man. There you go. Well, look, she's a single mom. And uh, let's be honest. What, what was the dad's name? Who, who cares? Doesn't matter. He's not. Yeah, in who it. cares uh, is right. <laughs> mm -hmm. So anyway, guys, uh, March is here. And you know what that means? March Madness mm. is coming right down the pike. It's the time of the year that I watch college basketball, pretty much the only time of the year. And I do that because I used to um, have unsuccessful gambling situations early in the season, betting on uh, D3 teams uh, you know, late in the evening, West Coast games. I don't want to get into it. I don't want to get into it. But what I do want to get into is my bookie. Because uh, my bookie is presenting this next segment here, and uh, it's time for you to shoot your shot on my bookie and score big with all the nonstop action. You can predict winners in each round of the my bookie bracket contest for a chance to win a fucking Bitcoin, which, if you didn't know, is up about ten percent, and it's gunning back for that north of sixty thousand uh, mark. Which really hope we get there so I can buy a house, uh, or you can get a Doodle NFT. Uh, which is currently valued at more than a Bitcoin, about 50K. Uh, also over $100,000 more in cash and prizes. So you got nothing to lose, right? Why don't you just sign up and uh, fill out a bracket? And maybe after you do that, you can lay some action on, I don't know, the Academy Awards. There's Academy Awards odds. Of course, all the sports odds. Honestly, my bookie has more action than any other book that I've used before. And uh, I've, moved my, I've moved my business over there. So you should, too. Sign up today at MyBookie. Use promo code FACTOR, F-A-C-T-O-R, to make your first deposit. When you go to sign up, it's going to ask you. You got a promo code. You just pop in FACTOR. Then it's going to say, where'd you hear about it? You can select podcast. It's going to be like, well, which podcast? You know the one. I mean, you're like hard factor. Uh, make sure you do that because, you know, that's how they know that, uh, that you know, we got a killer fan base. So anyway, mm -hmm. uh, make your first deposit. Start earning 
Uh, oh, I'm sorry. And then you get a free entry into the My Bracket yeah. contest. That's so. how they know you're having a great fucking day. There you I go. Know, like we said, you're filling, you know you're filling two or three of these out. Get yeah. a free one at my bookie. Come on now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there you go, guys. Fill these brackets out. Just get after it. Um, so selections for the bracket will officially begin March 13. So you got a little bit of time. Close March 17 at 12 p.m. Make sure you get deposited now with uh, promo code FACTOR to secure that free entry. Bet anything, anytime, anywhere with my bookie. What up? Okay, guys. Do you remember a few months ago when there was like some huge news in the medical community because a man had received the first heart transplant from a pig in what was a breakthrough medical procedure? You guys remember that? Of course. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Covered it. Yeah. It's called Zeno it Transplantation. News. It was huge news. Um, People got so mad that the he guy was a felon and stabbed, stabbed someone. Somebody. Yeah. 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 Well, yeah. Maybe they shouldn't be so mad anymore. But oh, that's foreshadowing. It's called <laughs> Zeno transplantation and guys the biggest challenge for xeno transplantation uh and since it, i guess it was first uh, attempted it comes when the human body realizes that it's been the victim of a of a bait and switch effectively and absolutely loses its shit when it realizes that you put a fucking animal organ inside it shock yeah mm -hmm. which uh if you know anything about the fragile ego of the human body it finds insulting honestly that it's not a human organ you're putting in there and that it absolutely refuses to work with the other special organ until it dies uh, Can you blame it though? It's like no, you gotta have man. standards. Yeah. It attacks it, doesn't it? Doesn't it just attack it like it's a like a alien? Yeah, like what the fuck are you doing in here? You shouldn't be here. You're mm -hmm. not even human, right? right. Um, and for the swineheart that went into 57 year old David Bennett back in January, uh, January 7th to be exact, scientists thought they'd solve the problem uh, of human elitist bodies by utilizing gene editing to remove uh, the specific pig genes that trigger the hyperfast rejection. I think it's a protein or something right. that they... Oh, we're not a pig heart. We're a human heart. Yeah, yeah. we're totally right. normal. Yeah, Don't no, look at us. Um, but yeah, it seems that uh, one of the savvier organs may have been running its mouth because mm. David's body got wind that it was a fucking pig heart and absolutely threw a fit and David, you know, unfortunately died. So... Um, yeah. All yeah. right. R.I.P. David. You, well, you can't get anything past the liver, probably. I didn't think the liver is like a real good investigator because mm -hmm. like, like the liver's like the liver's like cleaning stuff up all the time. And so it's like the trash, man. It like kind of knows. It's like that fucking stomach. It's there's something up with it. It's, it's look. giving me weird <laughs> trash. We're going to get there eventually. And I say keep shoving pig hearts and whatever and people that have like almost killed people before like serious hardened <laughs> felons should be the ones getting not you know not not like drug dealer felons but like attempted murderers should be the ones getting the uh the, the hearts until they work right right yeah, I mean, gonna call there's a reason he was on the yeah right guinea pigs. there's a reason he was on the list right yeah, yeah. test That's patients right. yeah. qualified for the list this guy will put anything enough yeah in his body <laughs> and in yours too well yeah. not anything probably a blade Anyway, it's not all bad news, guys. David's son said after his dad post uh, passed, excuse me, he said, quote, we're grateful for every innovative moment, every crazy dream, every sleepless night that went into this historic event. And guys, David, he even got to take in one last Super Bowl, which is kind of sweet. Here's a little video of David, um, and he's, uh, he's singing along with America the Beautiful. It's really kind of sweet. Yeah, I think his son got to watch it with him. Um, it didn't help his heart, though, probably that he was a Bengals fan. Oh, no. Mm, mm, yeah. Really? He was a Bengals fan? No, no idea, but too. he's dead. I'm just <laughs> Will, come on. Oh, Here he is man. watching the game. Doesn't look happy. It doesn't look like the heart ever took, to be honest. It did. It took no. for two months. Well. Mm -hmm. And it had to have taken a little bit, otherwise he just would have dropped dead immediately. I mean, right. it, was, it didn't look like he was doing great at any point. Well, look, I, I cut no. out the part. Did he of, ever get uh, out of the hospital? No, I don't think he did. But there was there was a very <laughs> hubristic doctor talking about how great it was going in that uh, in that Super Bowl clip. I read. Like, it's going great, you know. No signs of a of it rejecting. Uh, I think we did pretty good because we're doctors and he we know our shit. He needs to work on his bedside manner. Anyway, David's dead. Sorry, David. But look, well, David's this is like a long line. There was there was like what what was the thing that they tried on the girl? There, there, there it was none a baboon of, no, heart in eighty four. There you go. Yeah, it's never twenty one days she lived. Right. Yeah. So it's not not necessarily surprising. Yeah, but it, honestly, if she had lived, it'd have been sick because she could have like told people like I got the heart of a baboon. It would be a great nickname in high school, baboon heart. Um, she people probably like her instead of claps, they could have done ooh, ooh. right ooh, like ooh. a group people could go ooh, ooh. Yeah. yeah, oh my god, <laughs> that'd have been great for chance. Yeah, forget about it. Local newspapers would have just been all over that shit writing stories. Anyway, guys, uh, it's pretty touching the the clip of him singing "America the Beautiful," but as I said, dead. But 
let's move on to another story of a man who was in need of a new organ that also has a mel- melancholy ending. Let's take it down to Mississippi, where people aren't as always as accepting, I guess, and accommodating of folks that are in need of new organs. In fact, um, in Gary Rhodes, Mississippi, uh, complaining about a new organ or needing one can get you fired. And that's a lesson that uh, Assistant Principal Price, or should I say former Assistant Principal Price of Gary Road Elementary School, learned the hard way. Uh, And here's a hard-hitting piece of local news journalism from WLBT in Jackson, Mississippi, that'll explain exactly what happened with uh, old Assistant Principal Price. New at 6, an Assistant Principal was fired last week after reading a children's book called I Need a New Butt to a class. He does not understand why. Last week, assistant principal of Gary Road Elementary School, Toby Price, was fired after reading a children's book titled, I Need a New Butt, to a group of second graders. My boss had asked me to set up a Zoom um, with the second grade classes and the principal at the school they're going to be at next year, and she was going to read to them. And she didn't show. My boss told me, go ahead and read. Um, I grabbed one of my favorite books that I had nearby. I read it to him. It's a funny, <laughs> silly book. Price says he's read this book at the previous school district before, but never had any pushback or complaints. Uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> the look at the guy's face at the end is the yeah. Best. That was the best. Man. The, the best part of that honestly was the news anchor here at the end. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Anyway, uh, okay. Um, so, guys, uh, if if you don't know, um, I need a new butt. Is from the Butt Stuff trilogy, um, which includes "I Broke My Butt" and "My Butt Is So Noisy," from <laughs> author Don McMillan and illustrator Ross uh, Kinnard. So, uh, it, apparently, it's a huge children's book series. Um, you know, my butt's so noisy. And who's mad about this? Who is the fucking loser that got this guy fired? Well, look, I thought that too, Will. I was like, who are these fucking weirdos? Like, they're banning books left and right. Come on, it's I need a new butt. You read I need a new butt to my kid. But <laughs> that's what I thought. Your butt's fine, honey. You don't need a new butt. George, um, he wants a new it, butt now. It caused anxiety at home for weeks. Do you know how many times my kid said butt after your class? Yeah. Uh, it was butt this, butt that. Uh, according to the termination letter from the superintendent, uh, they say Price showed, quote, a lack of professionalism and impaired judgment by picking the book. And for those reasons, he is fired. But let's look at how people feel about this book. So here's from Amazon. Here's the re- the review or the, the synopsis. Um, a young boy suddenly notices a big problem. His butt has a huge crack. So he sets Uh-oh. off to find a new one. Uh, will he choose an armor-plated butt, a rocket butt, hmm. a robot butt? Find out in this quirky tale of a tale which features hilarious rhymes and delightful illustrations. Children and parents will love this book. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. (laughs) Oh, double T's. I think I get it, right? I think I get it. But let's see what some, and these are literally the first four (laughs) Amazon reviews. I I didn't choose these. I wasn't picking around. And Mm -hmm. this was an international bestseller, and it still is. But let's take it to the first review, taking it to the internet. This is from uh, Canison, is the username. One out of five stars, titled Creepy. Uh, creepy book. Picks, sh- picks show full butts, not just cracks here and there. <laughs> One pick shows a man painting on a boy's butt. Another has the boy walking as a naked model on the red carpet with adults watching. Another has the boy going into a dark adult nightclub with a bumper on his butt. I would not be reading this to my child, or I'd not be reading this to my child anytime soon. Too Who wrote much. That? The school, the principal of the school. Effort to return creepy stuff. You'd think that will. Let's take it on to the next one. Kindle customer. Yeah. The, one. Now it's the uh, now it's the administrator. This is also one out of five stars. Uh-oh. Spectacular gift failure. Hmm. Our grandkids, ages four and six, have terrific senses of humor. Let me start with that. They love Amelia Bedelia, for instance. She's Hilarious. hilarious. Since the four-year-old especially finds butts, etc. hilarious. I thought they'd love this. Yeah. Neither of them thought this was funny. The four-year-old announced after page one, this doesn't make sense. Everyone knows there's a crack there. There was a smile about the idea of using a bumper only after I explained the word bum. 
They both thought pages were missing at the end. I did too. Neither has been interested in reading it again, and I don't think oh. I can donate it because I'm sure some will find it offensive. Okay. Well, <laughs> that's sorry that i need a new butt doesn't have the narrative as like you know narrative of othello maybe you know it's not exactly a, an epic it's a book right. called i need a new butt <laughs> yeah speaking it between ro <laughs> rocket butts and robot butts. he's pissed about the, the narrative or the the storytelling all these fucking butt. morons bought this book what did they think it was going to be about i don't get the ending they thought it'd be, they thought it'd have a better ending like yeah. k paulus who says well one out of five stars very disappointing it's no wonky donkey for sure. Uh, I bought this because it was recommended since <laughs> I bought wonky donkey. Love that book. It's not very funny. And the ending is so abrupt. It leaves you wondering if a page is missing. What happens to his butt? I'm s I'm no prude. I like a good fart joke as much as the next guy. But this butt, this book just wasn't good. Don't recommend. And uh, Megan Sen gave it a two out of five saying the end was lacking. Um, yeah, was like, yeah, yeah, I was I, expecting I, Homer, I, Homer's I like epic, was, the Iliad and the Odyssey. It was great, and then it abruptly ended in an awkward manner. We were bummed. <laughs> mm. At least they didn't read I Need a New Vagina or something, you know? Yeah, that would, well, that would have got, got, very got controversial. Got Not in weird. Texas. Tell you who doesn't need a new butt. Paige. Oh, no, she doesn't. Uh, Paige is doing just fine. Uh, also, what plenty. the fuck is wrong with these? this school? Like, how is this guy fired for this? I think it's pretty clear, Will. It's a piss poor example of literature. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And the ending. The ending must be pretty bad. Pretty bad. <laughs> yeah. It's like the end of the Sopranos. It just ends. I don't yeah. believe the four year old scoffed at the butt jokes. <laughs> no. He loves yeah, also, butts too. Who 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 like who's like, I know my four and five year old has a good sense of humor. Who the fuck are you? Kindle Shut customer the one. Fuck up. <laughs> oh, Kindle, wait, they're they're yeah. reading on a Kindle? Mm -hmm. There's no pictures on Kindle. They laugh mm. at Amelia Bedelia. My four-year-old loves when I make faces at her. Yeah. She's got the best sense of humor. My four-year-old and I watch dude. Johnny Carson <laughs> together. <laughs> My very smart and very yeah. funny four-year-old like, didn't enjoy this. Yeah. Uh, that, and, then, and, and then it's like, it's arbitrary which books they like and not. It we call our grandkids well. Abbott and <laughs> Costello. <laughs> God, I mean, my butt is so noisy is probably the most controversial of the three. So I'm glad. Oh, yeah. yeah. I want to buy all of these. I feel like this is a I feel like this guy is like a Dr. Yeah, Seuss. It's I think we should do a live a live stream reading of the trilogy. We should. I mean, I certainly could use a, an upgrade. I don't know if I need a new one, but it's it's, it's got its problems. Yeah. My butt. Look, this thing has got four and a half stars yeah. on Amazon out of 17,000 ratings. Those that, but though, no so, bullshit. Yeah. Those are the first four. Those are the, the, literally the first four ratings. I couldn't believe seeing four yeah. shitty ratings at the top. It's 84% yeah, five Pat, star. That was, that was the school. From that town. Yeah. It's from that town. Pat, you yeah. The town tricked you into reading their reviews that they just put on this book no, because they, this these story is going are, around the fucking internet. These reviews are for 2018. They're varied. It was oh. on the specific listing. Oh, well, then why listing. are they at the top? Because it was it was whatever that listing of I need a new butt is. I mean, a bunch of people. This is a popular book. A lot of sellers. Because that town got into Amazon's hooks. They're in, they're in their pockets this on the review board. Yeah. <laughs> Sort by 84% yeah. five stars on Amazon. Yeah, yeah on. but it's no wonky donkey. I'll tell you that. <laughs> All right. All right. That's Everyone going to do it for Hard Factor. Thanks for it's a listening. Let's get the wheel up here and um, mm, oh. see who's going to be. Uh, Wesley's off. On the well, Wesley's off. Yes. Wesley's mm -hmm. off. He's going home to celebrate mm -hmm. his fortieth with family. That's going to be real uh, fun. I'll pull it up. Yeah. Oh, you got it, Wes. All right. Well, I mean, uh, are you opening yeah, up the pull one? It up. Pull okay, it no, up. I, mean, I don't have the good one. Pull it up. I don't have the good one. I got it. I'm uh, gonna, I'll, I'm going to let you know how to get in there. It's easy. I, no, you told me. I just haven't logged in yet. All three of us will have a job because it's going to be. Yes. Coffee, a TikTok, and a voicemails and reviews. Oh, all right. Here we go. Look at this. Share. It's one of my favorite books. I, need I wonder if Joey's going to call in about Aaron Rodgers this week. Mm. Here we go. Potentially. After the contract, I would imagine. You'll have to oh listen to find out. Oh, yeah. Lots Carson. of Rodgers gloating going on. on <laughs> Carson Wentz. I've seen. <laughs> Carson Wentz. We didn't even mention Oh, we didn't even discuss him. Carson I'll have to bring Wentz. him up on the coffee oh. tomorrow. How did you guys not? <laughs> yeah. Wes, uh, did you not I don't care? care? No, oh, I saw care. it. I just don't care. Yeah. Well, yeah. I, well now, that we're, now that we brought it up, though, a Eagles skins games are going to be your Eagles yeah. commies games are going to be hilarious because uh, he came yeah. home and was like PFT was really upset at the office today. <laughs> he, shouldn't be <laughs> he shouldn't be up. He wants the team to be good. So that's why uh, he's but that's, uh, that's for the a, comedy yeah. of it. TikTok. You should, you should yeah, love it. Voice yeah. Nice. So, so will coffee, Pat, TikTok, Mark voice bells and reviews on tomorrow's show. Wes on, on vacation for his 40th birthday. Hey, yo, that's right. 
Have a great fucking day. Hard Factor. Cheat on the news. Patreon.com slash Hard Factor.